I don't think the average person realizes how wild it truly is in the mountains. The predators that live out there, their number one job is to kill. The lack of management alongside the reintroduction of wolves has led to a large increase in predators. As hunters, it is our job to help manage these predators. This would be my second year purchasing a wolf tag alongside my elk tag. If given the opportunity, I would do my part in protecting a valuable food source here in Montana, the Rocky Mountain Elk. I'm thinking to drop it back down a little bit. I'm gonna put it under this axle if I can get it up in there. I don't know if I can, the sway bar. Our elk hunt started with a flat tire. It seems something always goes wrong whenever we plan a trip with our father. I was hoping to have a memorable elk hunt with my dad in the mountains of western Montana. The first two days of elk hunting were slow. The cold, crunchy conditions were preventing us from being quiet in the dark timber. With a snowstorm moving in on the horizon, we made the decision to move locations and hopefully find fresh elk tracks in the morning. Alright, we got a couple inches of snow last night. Spent the night up here and just hiked up this morning with our dad. And gotta keep working the ridge and hopefully we start find some elk this morning. <laughs> found our first sign of elk, fresh elk beds. Large bull tracks led us further into the forest until finally we saw our first bull. After seeing multiple bulls with no shot, we decided to keep following the elk tracks in front of us. I hope there was one more chance to catch a glimpse at a nice bull. took an unexpected turn. We're on some elk and I filled my 2012 wolf tag. Seen signs, seen a lot of sign, but wow. Shot him cording away here at 100 yards. There's a bunch more tracks, there's a pack in here. So, it's crazy. He's a black male. Really pretty.
I've spent this year, I think. Got the wolf loaded up in the longbow. It's pretty heavy, it's probably 90 pounds. It's, it's at least an elk quarter, that's for sure. So we got a steep ridge to hike here in the beginning. But once we get over it, we're gonna hit a logging road and from there it's pretty much all downhill, so. Let me get started. Since the reintroduction of the gray wolf, there has become an imbalance in predators versus prey. Hunters have the responsibility of helping keep the predator numbers balanced, and that means less wolves. There's no doubt that the wolves are here to stay in Montana, but you can bet next year I'll be buying another wolf tag. <laughs>